love, peace, greetings, cheers. Hotel TLG, trees of goodness all day. Wanted to uh, make this video. Uh, I tried to do it from my phone a couple times, but it just didn't work out. Uh, phone kept dying off on me. I said, okay, I don't even know why I even tried this old raggedy thing. You know, thankful for it, but it be acting crazy. But uh, I wanted to get this recipe locked down, get it on record. Uh, I just love being in tune. I love being in tune uh, with the universal creator. And uh, it, and you, you know, you receive that confirmation, you know, when, when the, your timing constantly lines up. When uh, So I made this phenomenal uh, culinary treat. I don't know if you can't even really see. I got can't even really get a good, but it got some uh, some beautiful symbolism in there. You can't really get a good shot of it. See some infinity, infinity symbols in there. Infinity symbols, and uh, I just I love being able to create. I love being able to create. Like I said, I've been on this streak where I want to create something new every day. I keep this on camera. It's just, I'm so excited about this meal. This is something new I haven't tried before once again. Something that's probably never been done in the world because it's, I put so much love and care into it. I put so many different ingredients into it. I'm sure there's no restaurant that's going to do something like that. So I uh, started off with this, uh, my sister made some some, uh, some spice zucchini and it, was, and it was delicious in itself. So me being me, I always want to, I'm not going to use parsley as, as a parsley to that too. To me, being me, I always want to jazz up something. I always want to see what type of to create, what I can create. I made a uh, the sweet potato and um, sweet potato and a uh, peach. I guess we'll baked sweet potato cake, a uh, sweet potato baked cake, or something like that. I was gonna call it, and uh, it turned out all right. You know, it did, I didn't really get a rise out of it. Like it wasn't, it didn't rise like I wanted it to, but uh, it was, it was like it was a cobbler type of deal. But it was pretty good. So, uh, and my sister liked it. I didn't know if she would like it, so I didn't even invite her to try any, but she snatched up a piece and was like, I thought it was good. So, I was happy about that. So, anyway, I made, she made uh, some spiced zucchini, and I was like, okay, well, let me see what I can uh, do with that. So, I was just going to add some kale and some eggs to it, and you know, try to make it a little more filling. I try to eat one good meal through uh, one, at least one good meal uh, a day, you know, and then the rest of it be smaller meals or. Um, if if any other meal, you know what I mean. If you can get one one really good one, then you could be pretty good and stay productive, not be weighed down too much. Cause uh, it's not about being full in my world. Even though I like that feeling, you know, cause it's better than starving. But at the same time, you want to be in control of your urges, be in control, be in, be the master of your body, you need to be be the master of your vessel, and not have your, your urges to eat control you. So anyway, I uh, she made the start off with a spicy king, and then I added some some. Uh, some kale to it. Then I saw I had this uh this green detox uh energy drink that I like to add to my juices. So I said I don't know why it's some powder. I said oh, well, I I don't know why I haven't been trying to add that to my food just to make sure because it has a lot of good things in it. Some lemongrass and some uh some uh some sprouts and some uh green algae. It's a lot of different awesome things in it in that powder. So I was like you know why I didn't try to add that. So I added the that kale and I added that that powder that that uh green detox powder in there and then I went outside and I uh, I grabbed some uh, dandelion greens, some fresh dandelion greens and some dandelion roots and I uh, cleaned those greens off and I cut cut a, cut a few of those roots up and uh, added that to the added that to my meal then I uh, then I had, uh, had some nettle seeds so I added some nettle seeds Then I had some uh, I got pink Himalayan salt so I added some pink Himalayan salt on there and then I uh, I was like, okay, well, I want to keep on stepping it up. So as as I was uh, cooking my eggs, I, somebody ended up. Uh, my sister was going to. Uh, she's about to go to an event, and she went in my old neighborhood. And one of my one of my big brothers. Oh, you know, uh, you know, and as far as spirit, he um, he has a garden, and he he uh, gave my sister some tomatoes and some peppers, and I think some zucchini, and uh, some yellow tomatoes. Uh, and I was like, you know, and she brought him back. And so while I mean, I cook it, I was like, wow, I can just add this to what I'm doing too. So it was awesome the timing, the timing of the situation. So I added that one of the one of the yellow tomatoes to it, and uh, cut up one of the uh, you know uh, a little portion of one of the green peppers and added that to that, added that to the meal. And um, as I was about to make the video with the phone, I realized, oh, I didn't add my ginger into it yet. So let me add the ginger in there. So I cut up some ginger root, add the ginger root in there. Then I had some cut up some garlic, added the garlic in there. Uh, hope you know, and garlic has this thing where it's like kind of a time deal. But there's a particular substance called uh, allicin 
that has a certain certain properties that is kind of a time deal. So if you don't consume it within like 15 minutes, you know those, that that property begins to wane down. So I'm gonna make this video short so I can get some of that that gonna see me. Then I sprinkle some go-to cola in there. Go-to cola is good for your memory and um, your, your mind-body uh, combination. And um, I added one of the red tomatoes that my brother had hooked up. I added one of the red tomatoes in there too. And then I got some eggs, obviously. Um, and uh, like I said, it just turned into an awesome, a awesome meal. Like I said, with the with the uh, the dandelion greens, you know, we wanted the fresh as fresh as possible. So I just picked those this morning. Then I have some mustard here. Then I probably just drink a little bit more of the go-to cola. Try to keep the go-to cola in the in the room where I'm where I'm eating it, so that then if I forget, I can just add some more on there. And then just turn it to a, uh, a a phenomenal culinary masterpiece. You know, if you ask me, I'm somebody who, you know, just really started to step into the world of uh, of cooking. You know, and you know, I, I'm I'm all all for you know juicing and juicing and, and it's good. But I'm a tourist, so I love the finest things. I love tasting flavors and textures and um, you know it's, it's important to, to know yourself you know it's important to know yourself and who you are what resonates with you so you can enjoy your life to the fullest you know and not be trying to mold yourself with somebody else's particular perspective or point of view um, that's the most important thing you know know your, know thyself and you know you you shall know the universe and you know and know it as God and not be a victim but a victor in every aspect of your life um, so yeah, I just wanted to get that recipe put down. I'm I'm pretty sure some I might have left out a few things, but for the most part, that was the those were the main uh, ingredients that I added in there. And if I think of something else, then then I'll be sure to uh, to, to 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 document that or get that jotted down. And then I got some mustard on top, as you can see. But like I said, I put the uh, as a Reiki master, I put a symbol on there, a symbol of love on there. And um, you know, I just want to, you know, you just want your vibrations to be as high as possible all the time. You know, there's been a lot of uh, cleansing and stuff going on. There's been a lot of energies being downloaded into this uh, atmosphere, this planet. You know, and it's been intense for a lot of people. And I've been feeling it myself. And uh, so you just want to be able to enjoy life as much as you can and, and find out what those things are that you enjoy, you know, and, uh, and then enjoy them, you know what I mean? And try to enjoy them with other people as well. So it's awesome I was able to create a, a, a good masterpiece. She didn't, my sister doesn't even know I, I did it yet. But I'm gonna tell her about it, and and hopefully I I'll be able to do something like that again, you know, and, and she can get to try this out because I know this is about to be banging. I know it's about to be good. So I'm about to sit here and uh, enjoy my food, say my grace with my food, uh, grant grant miracles for other folks as I'm eating my food, you know, um, grant miracles for myself, you know, may somebody else be provided for as I'm provided for, you know, and uh, may this food be blessed as I'm blessed through it. You know what I mean, like, uh, and and that's what it's about. You know what I mean, trying to be a constant blessing, not only in, you know, in your movements and your actions, but when you're non doing. You know what I mean. When you're trying to consume food, try to bless your bless your environment. You know what I mean. Bless these wherever this food came from, whoever has something to do with bringing this food to you, may they be blessed too. You know what I mean. There's a lot of places, a lot of cultures that they don't get to and consume food like that. So I want to be stay appreciative. You know what I mean. Ain't no telling when this paradigm may shift and certain things may happen where. We may not be able to get have the same amount of abundance that we have now. So you got water, you know. You got water, you know. You gotta uh, appreciate that being able to have clean, clean water. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, just just live abundantly, live life abundantly. That's what it's about, you know. So I'm gonna cut this off because I'll talk all day. I'm just excited. I feel vibrant. I feel refreshed, restored. Uh, doing my Kundalini yoga yesterday. I want to start a Kundalini yoga class uh, in this city. I stay in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So. I want to be able to help raise the vibrations of this city because it's a powerful vortex center. Powerful vortex center because it's a military base. It's one of the largest in the country. Uh, but it's not really, our vibrations really haven't gotten above the religious stereotype. You know, and um, unfortunately our community reflects that. You know what I mean? So we got to we gotta help, we got to all do what we can to make something happen. And I try to just add my own little pieces to the pieces to the puzzle so that, you know, when it's all said and done, I, I can look back. You know, and my prince would be able to look at that and say, you know, Daddy helped make this city as awesome as it is. You know what I mean? He he didn't want to. He didn't just sit on his tail and do nothing and talk and just com complain about what's happening. He did what he could do spiritually and physically. You know, and, and in the and in the physical room as well. So, anyway, I love y'all. Be peace. Be encouragement. Uh, be love. Bliss to you and your lives. You know, no matter what's going on, it's gonna it's gonna start turning around for you. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get more phenomenal. And it's gonna start with you. You know what I mean. You have to make it, make sure, set it up in your mind to know that you are a champion. You will, you are a champion. You were born to be 
abundant. You were born to be bountiful in your blessings and to be able to bless other people as well. So, it's trees of goodness. And driving this Anjaquan, signing off. About to go get my, finish up this movie, Book of Eli. And, uh, and then um, watch a C. Freeman L. Um, uh, lecture that I downloaded before. So, uh, you know, stay, stay, stay tuned in. Stay tuned in with the universe. Round your feet, plant your feet, get your sun in. Uh, get your appreciation for flowers and consume you some of those greens that you see outside because it's vibrating with vibration of the earth. You know what I mean? And uh, become one. Become one with, with yourself, your highest version of yourself. And uh, that takes work, but uh, you can do it, you know. So, TOG all day. Bliss to you. Hotel.